Hello, hello everyone! Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Virtually, and we are back with my Shuno memoirs with the December... December sisters? The Rain sisters! This is a collaboration with Spacey Sims and Safi's Place, and last we were together was before Christmas and New Year's, I believe. It's been probably about three weeks since I've been in the save, so bear with me as I reacquaint myself with their status, their needs, their work situation, but first things first, look whose birthday it is! It's the prince's birthday and he wants December to come to his birthday party. So of course we're gonna go and we're gonna take our friends with us. That's how we're gonna start this shindig. Um, I know Yasmin's a little bit sleepy, but she's coming too. Anybody else? Sh who should we take? Who wants to go with us? Happy New Year's to us. Happy New Year's to us. Um, let's take Dawn. I think, I think that's all we wanna take. Now the prince I put in an apartment somewhere. It's probably middle class. Um, his parents obviously live in the penthouse, okay, but he is trying to <laughs> he's trying to live like normal people. So there's a prince. We want to say hey. Uh, why is she wanting com to complain about problems? Congratulate him on his. Oh, he looks so handsome. Look at them. Oh, they're so. Let's gossip about neighbors. Look at Yasmin and her boy toy here. She's not doing too well. She's really sleepy. But Fliss is looking cute. Um, look at Addison. <laughs> Just make yourself at home, Addy. Why the heck not? Where is our game sound? Let me just make sure that our game music sound, whatever, audio. Let's apply these changes. And let's get out of here. So hopefully we can hear a little bit of the gameplay. That is hilarious. She is just having herself a good old time. So we're going to go in. This is the apartment that I placed him at. It's really nothing to write home about. His parents are quite disappointed in him and his lack of desire to be, you know, fancy to be with the upper echelon, the elite. Oh, he just got his bills. He just got his bills. Why, why is everyone wanting to take a bath in the prince's house? And where did everyone go? I don't, oh, so I put him in the building next door to hers. I see how I did that. I was strategic. I didn't even realize how strategic I was. Listen, I hope you guys had a great New Year's. We did a lot of nothing, pretty much. Where did everyone go? I don't understand this. And of course, Yasmin's being silly. So I'm going to send her to sleep because she's being totally silly. She's probably one of the weirdest Sims. And I'm wondering, do I have... Let's go back into game options. Do I have full autonomy is on? So I don't understand why she's always staring off into space and he has a lot of mail. He's just sorting through everything. So my friend Malady was like, you know, you're corrupting the prince. If the paparazzi caught him woohooing in a bush, his parents would be highly disappointed. And yeah, you know, I really believe that he is classier than woohooing in a bush, but, um, he really wanted to be with December, so we'll just leave it. <laughs> All right, I think you're clean. Get out of there. Talk to the prince. Get to know him. Flirt with him. And share your photos. Maybe we can rave about our favorite singers if that option shows up again. <gasps> Collect donation. Yes. I'm going to give him a key to our apartment as well. We're doing a lot of stuff here with the prince because he deserves to feel special. I wish, I wish we had the capability of giving them gifts, giving our friends gifts, um, because I miss that from The Sims 3. I'm gonna have her confess her attraction for this beautiful man. Um, do a pickup line. 
Um, offer massage. Maybe that could be his gift to him. Her gift to him, anyway. And then share one of your incredibly amazing jokes. <laughs> oh no, they're flirty now. They really are. Sexy pose. Asks to be boyfriend. Yeah. We might as well just go the extra mile here. I mean, we already woohooed in the bush. We might as well call each other boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> um, I really got some amazing... Um, and there they go. I really got some amazing feedback on Yasmin's career. And I think I'm going to keep her in the music career. But I'm also going to open up a boutique for her. Because I agree. I think that she would definitely be in the... Um, in the fashion career um she'd probably be a youtube vlogger beauty vlogger as well you know just because she loves anything and everything to do with beauty and she loves to brag about her stuff so <laughs> she might as well open up a small teeny tiny boutique and we'll see how that goes i've never ever done a boutique in this game so that will be um oh he's finishing his own birthday cake Aww, Kaleem, I hope he doesn't burn down the house because that would be rather strange. Uh, why don't you come here, sit here, and just stare at your man. It's really dark in his apartment. It's such a minimalist apartment too. Aww, isn't that sweet? That is so sweet. Let's have a piece of cake. Let's um, call Tamil. <laughs> Let's pretend he said, he said uh, his birthday wishes there. I don't want him to age, really. I don't want this these Sims to age right away. Um, this isn't a legacy challenge, so I'm not really into making them get older uh, by any stretch of the imagination. So, so for New Year's resolutions this year, I I really try not to make any. <laughs> My resolution is not to do a resolution. <laughs> But what I am doing, and I started a little bit before, um, let's ask him a risque question. I started a little bit before the new year, is I decided to drink more water. Because given the opportunity, I will drink everything else in sight except for water, and that's really unhealthy. So I want to be just a little bit healthier this year, and I'm going to start simple, start with water. And then maybe I'll make my way through and cut out sugar in my diet. Or an, not a diet. I don't want to say I'm on a diet because I never stick to it. But from, you know, my normal everyday routine, just say no to sweeteners because I use sweet and low a ton. That and uh, set other unrefined sugar. Um can't remember the name of it so I apologize but it's sweet and low and and the green packet whatever that green packet oh new not Nutella Nutella is a chocolate <laughs> never mind it's the other sweetener so what we should do is we should go on since everyone abandoned the prince I don't understand this invitation system but I really think that um, Jasmine should kiss the prince and say goodnight um, and maybe we should go over here and embrace him and then go home. And Yasmin was a party pooper for realsies. We should probably watch a movie with him, quite honestly. I mean, maybe another day. All right, let's just go home. Maybe another day. They're adorable. She's going to say goodbye. We should put the cake away. Here, we'll do that for you. Oh, that reset everything. Why don't you say goodbye, honey? Yasmin, you should go home too. And she's just crossing the street here. It's very convenient to have your boyfriend live in the building right next door. Um... Let's switch control to December. She 
She came home, decided to get a drink. Why is she hungry again? I don't understand it. I'm gonna have her pick up. This is nasty. Look at this. I think her neighbors were over because I don't remember having this mess in the house. But I don't remember what we had for food. It looks like we have a couple of these left. So I'm gonna have her grab a serving. Do we have anything? Oh. Oh, these are repeats. These are repeats. So those we can sell at the flea market next time. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have her go to sleep. And we shall return. Welcome back everyone. The girls have rested up and Gita's here. I'm going to have Yasmin come over here and yell at her. Uh, maybe we can be mean. Yell at. Can you keep it down there? It's way past respectable hours. It's 5 a.m. Everyone should be up and at them. Yeah, you tell her, Jasmine. Start a preposterous rumor. Be mean again. Ooh, they can fight. Imply her mother is a llama. Gita is such a prude. I like how if the insult doesn't land well, she gets <laughs> awkward. Uh, more choices. Throw a drink. I just happen to have this slushy in my back pocket. <laughs> We might as well fight. Let's see who wins. Yasmin's a little bit ghetto underneath it all. <laughs> oh, yes. Why are they fighting on their knees? Like all bent down like that. That's so weird. <laughs> if Gita wins, I'm going to laugh so hard. <laughs> Clearly, you're terrible. <laughs> Why is she in her apartment now? Why is she here? Tell her to go. Oh, Yasmin, you are terrible. Don't, don't you dare. Oh, I thought she was going to deface my artwork. Um, tell her she has to leave. Why is she even here? Tell her to leave. Wait, I'm going to pause this for a second. Because Yasmin's all dazed and confused. <laughs> Can tell her to go away. Yeah. We don't want you here, Gita. With your 70s costume. And your cheap lipstick. I don't know. I'm terrible at um, making fun of people. So <laughs> that's as good as it gets. Why is she not leaving? Let's declare her our enemy. Yasmin never apologizes. Should not even be in her queue. What should we do? Um, I want her to go away. Can we ask to leave? Yasmin will never find common ground with Kita. Try to chat? No. I want her to leave. Why can't I tell her to leave? I'm going to declare enemy. I'm going to... Ask her to go away. And I'm going to... Uh, hopefully I don't have to do anything else. Oh yeah, she's going to mock her outfit. And then ask her to go away. <laughs> I didn't realize how fun it was to be mean to a sim. All right, you tell her. Oh, yeah, they hate each other. And then she's going to practice again. She's going to totally ignore Gita. 
Gita, why are you even here? Why are you in our room? Please leave. Go away. Go away. Beg forgiveness. Just go away. Maybe December can ask her to leave. Maybe December. Ugh, this is driving me bananas. Well, I guess there's nothing we can do about Gita being here. Unbelievable. All right, Yasmin, why don't you bother her some more? Let's turn on the radio to like, um, let's see, is there rock? Maybe she hates tween pop. Let's do tween pop and then uh, we'll have her continue to practice because she needs to do that for work, which is starting in a few hours. Why is she talking to herself? She's trying to calm herself down in her room, which is so random. Like that's, that's one part of the, whatever you want to call it, the coding or whatever in this game that I don't understand. Like they fight and then they invite themselves over. Like it's nothing. I just don't get it. I really don't. So anywho, we are going to get December up. I think she slept enough. I'm um, gonna take care of her needs real quick. Oh look, it's Fliss. Uh, rave about favorite singers because Fliss just won a contest, a singing contest in the last episode of um, her perspective and was pretty amazing. I'm so proud of her. She really came out of her shell. She um, she got out of her comfort zone and really just killed it. I'm so proud of her. All right, so did she leave us an affirming note? I feel like Fliss is telling her all about her award. Oh, it's a spice festival. It's today at 5 p.m. to 1 a.m. Purchase unique spices, harvest fresh produce. We can do that because she loves. This is definitely a December type of thing. Uh, enjoy the local cuisine. This is going to be great. So the Spice Festival upcoming next week. Promise. We promise. I'm going to have her read the note. <gasps> She's going to work from home. Let's see. December's boss was happy with the work she did from home and she made $453. That's pretty amazing. Can we ask her to leave now? Yes. Good riddance. Just leave, Gita. You're not welcome here. Remember to live life to the fullest. Don't waste those hours in front of the computer. Go spend some time enjoying the world outside your window. Is that like a hidden message from the developers of The Sims so that we can stop playing the game and like enjoy life for real? <laughs> oh man. So I'm gonna have her pick up a little bit and then we're gonna, we're going to take a look at our queue today. Paint a political mural and give a speech in Uptown. Ooh, let's do, let's do. Let's do, let's do. Let's get her dressed. <laughs> Fliss is enjoying the bubble blower. You go on, girl. Um, change outfit. Let's change it to, what is this? I don't remember giving her this outfit. Do they randomly select their own outfits from time to time? That's really random. Let's um have her, yeah, I don't remember giving her that outfit, but it's really cute. All right, let's go paint a political mural. Um, we can probably just go to Uptown, to be honest with you. Travel, let's take Fliss with us. We might as well. <gasps> Kaleem, you're so beautiful. Kaleem, why are you so beautiful? I'm going to bring you with me. Why am I speaking in this accent? He just brings this out of my very soul. Let us travel. Yeah. 
hopefully we can paint a political mural here. Okay, we're going to give a speech first, all right? So I'm going to have her come here, and I'm going to have her do an expert speech to the yellow and green chairs. <laughs> because why not? Oh, shoot. <laughs> I don't think any of our friends came with us. Let me... Let me do a little panoramic view here. They're probably in the gym. Let's check out who's in the gym while she does her speech. Oh, Fliss is here. Oh, Kalima's is here. He's so cute. You are beautiful, darling. All right, maybe she can do the political painting on the ground here. Unless there's actual places where we can paint a mural up here. I love Uptown. It's so gorgeous. There's a little like relaxation station over here. There's like a fireplace over here. There's so many relaxation stations like safe zones for the Uptown folks. <laughs> I don't know why, but I like it. I feel like she should do her political mural down here where everyone is looking. Um, can we can we buy it? All right. I'm going to actually have her deface the gym and have her do a paint political mural together and this is going to be exciting for Fliss and for the prince because they, um, they're so, you know, not the type of people to do anything that would be considered against the law. And I would imagine that even in the sim world, that defacing a building would, uh, not be smiled upon. So we'll see how that goes. So she still hasn't triggered that, um, give the speech thing. So I'm just going to fast forward and I'll be right back when she, um, triggers that particular task. All right, so that particular task is triggered. Here comes the prince. Hopefully, Fliss will come out and help her with this mural painting. We'll see. See how this goes. I'm going to fast forward this as well. They're helping her with her job, as you can see. So that's kind of cool. More trees. She's all about her trees. I love how her friends come together and support her so well. I think that's brilliant. Everyone needs those types of friends in their life, you know? The ones that will completely uh, bypass their own ulterior motives to support their friends, like lifelong passion. It's, it's pretty brilliant. All right, so they just have a little bit left to go, and I think this looks great here. It's like, it's great that you guys are taking care of your bodies on the inside and outwardly, but we should also take care of the environment that we live in. So... Aw, why don't you hug your friends? Um, friendly actions. Is there a hug? Just, just let me hug you. Just let me hug you guys. Where are you, Fliss? Fliss just ran away. All right, well, thank you, Fliss. And thank you guys for hanging out with me. It's been about 20 minutes or so. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Thanks for hanging out with me as Yasmin tries to kick Gita's butt but gets her own kick. <laughs> And as we um, go through her political cue, her friendly lobbyist tasks today, I think she's doing really, really amazing. I appreciate you guys. I'll talk to you super soon. And I'll see you next week with more My Shuno Memoirs. Take care, guys. Bye.